guys, it's Lori. Here I am in all my glory. No makeup. My big baggy sweatshirt. Didn't even feel like getting dressed. <laughs> I almost didn't vlog, but I thought, no, I really kind of want to. So I don't need to put makeup on and look all fancy. You guys love me anyway, right? <laughs> hey, we're all family here. All right, so let me go through the last couple days, tell you guys what's going on. Um, I can't remember for sure when I vlogged last. I'm going to look at my notes real quick. Um, I think it might have been Saturday. Yes, it was Saturday because that was that was when I had the 1.2 drop after eating like a bunch of cookies. So anyway, I've been eating whatever I want, whatever I want for the last, well, Sunday we had uh, our first Christmas get together at my in-laws. So I ate absolutely anything I wanted. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, today, but eating whatever I want. So anyway, uh, my 10 days of Christmas eating plan actually went really well. I'm very happy with it. I consider it a complete success, exactly what I planned. And I think I did pretty good with it, considering the fact that Tom was here through most of it, the creep. <laughs> yeah, but that's all right. Um, so anyway, I, Sunday, like I said, we had that get together. Monday I got up and I was up 1.6. Yeah, but that's okay. I was not the least bit surprised because I ate lots and lots of stuff that I don't normally eat. Um, you know, I, I excuse the food porn, but I'm going to tell you some of the things I ate. So if you don't want to hear food porn, click off. Um, I don't think it'll be a big deal for most people, but anyway, I mean, I had like corn casserole. I had dinner rolls. I ate like three of them the whole time I was there. Not at once, but you know, the deviled eggs tasted sweet. They had to have sugar in them or something. I've never had deviled eggs with sugar in them, but I'm telling you, these deviled eggs were sweet, but they were good. I had two of those. Um, I had like, I only had like one cookie and a piece of a peanut cluster. Just, I just like broke off a little piece of that. And, um, my husband had like two different kinds of dessert and I just had like a couple bites of each of those. I didn't, I didn't actually have dessert. I was pretty full. Um, did I say green bean casserole? I had that. Um, I don't really remember if there was anything else that was really bad, bad for me that I had, but that, that's enough to have it all at once. Personally, I think I could have eaten everything that I ate. I think I would do okay with it, just not all at once. So I think you'd be surprised to find out that you can eat like lots of things as long as you don't combine too many bad things at once. Um, anyway yeah so Monday I was up 1.6 when I got up Monday my ring was really tight so you know I was retaining some water and it's no big deal um, I expected to be up that much and I got up feeling really nauseous I don't know what the deal was with that for sure if it was just I don't know but after we ate at my in-laws about two o'clock in the afternoon and to think about it, you know, the next day when I got up, I felt so sick. And my husband's like, what did you have when we got home? What did you have for, did you even eat dinner? I said, no, actually I didn't. I got home and I started doing the hustling and bustling around and getting the Christmas stuff ready and doing some baking and cooking and stuff that I wanted to finish up. And I didn't eat any of it. I, I didn't have anything else after that. So I don't know. I guess I was, I needed something to eat because he got up and cooked me some oatmeal. And he had me eat that. I'm not a breakfast person at all, and I didn't want it, but I ate it, and I felt so much better after that, so I guess I just needed something to eat. Monday night then, that was Christmas Eve, we we always do Chinese on Christmas Eve, and we did Chinese on Christmas Eve this year too, and I ate way, way past full, way past full, yeah. I, wh what I ordered, I usually make two meals of, and I ate it all. With the exception of my grandson was here, with the exception of the little bit of it that he ate, which wasn't really that much, um, considering how much food was actually there. Yeah, so I'm sitting there watching a Christmas story, and I just kept eating, eating, and eating, and eating, and shuffling it in, and I was so full, and I just kept eating anyway. So I'm not surprised. I was up the next day. I was up one, uh, 0.8. So, and I was so thirsty. I know, I know it's water, a lot of it's water retention because I have been so thirsty, like chugging the water so much that I've got a stomach ache from it, you know, I keep doing that. Well, anyway, then Christmas, of course I ate whatever I wanted on Christmas, absolutely anything I wanted. 
and today I'm up 0.8 again. So I'm up a little over three pounds in the past few days, which is fine because I started out my 10 days of Christmas eating plan at 127.6, and today I'm 127.2. So I'm comfortable with it. I'm very comfortable with that. Today I've eaten pretty much whatever I want to. I haven't done horrible today, though. Um, I haven't been terribly hungry, so I guess I kind of have been eating hunger today. So I guess that's a good thing, right? Even though I've been eating whatever I want. So uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about it. I am not the least bit worried about it. This is what I planned, and, you know, I'm not going to deprive myself. I am going to live. Sorry, I'm just putting my logbook down here in my little holder. I keep it in. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you a few things I got for Christmas. So I got these. My husband got me this. I'm not going to show you everything, but wireless headphones so that when I'm watching my vlogs and other people are around or something I don't have to bother them with it or if I can hear the TV over it or something you know I just put my headphones on it's really cool really cool I like them and I put them on and tried them already and I can go through my entire house and I don't lose my signal so it's awesome love them my husband got me some slippers they are so soft comfy oh my gosh yeah so got me some slippers got me the new Kid Rock CD. I love Kid Rock. Yes, I do. He got me this. Um, listen. Can you hear it? Listen. It's not a heart. It's an egg slicer. Yeah. And I asked for this because I saw a recipe and it wasn't used for an egg, but I don't remember what it was used for. But I wanted this for a reason and now I don't remember why. <laughs> That's right. I'll use it. I wanted it. Mom got me a... Um, it's green and one size fits all. Yeah. My daughter, so sweet, she bought her mama some earrings and a necklace. Yeah. She knows I've been wearing jewelry lately, so. And I got one of these little note cubes. I had shown you one of these once before a long time ago that I got from my mom. And my husband got me one too. It's got a little hole to put the pen in. It comes with a pen. Yeah. I'll put it in my little activity room when I finally get that done. And my mom got me this great big basket. I love baskets. It's got a liner in it. Basket full of stuff. <laughs> she got me like two big bags of Splenda and uh, what else? Coconut oil, two things of cocoa, a big thing of coffee. <laughs> We are very practical. So that's the sort of things that we buy each other. My husband got me these. He put them with my stocking. These are those pretzel bites that I tell you guys that I eat, that I do okay with. So, and of course, this is a big bag. I usually get to put snack size bags, but I just eat a few. So at a time, and they work for me. So that's cool. Um, oh, and I got, I think there's $16 worth of winners on some scratch off tickets. We're big on the scratch-off tickets. Everybody gives each other these scratch-off tickets, so that's pretty cool. Got me some winners there. Got this. My husband bought me this. It's like a canvas print. Isn't that pretty? And you want to know what's really cool about it? I still got a plastic cover. See this back here? Batteries. The flames on the candles light up. Yeah. I haven't even put batteries in it yet, but it's pretty cool. And also a muffin top pan. Yay! I've been wanting one of those for quite a while. So, yeah, I guess, oh, my, my daughter got me this, too. This pretty little box. Isn't that cute? Cute little box. And it comes off. And there's some Bath and Body Works body spray. It smells really good. Sea Island Cotton. Some body mist, fragrance mist, and some, um, what do you call it, shower gel, and some body lotion. And it smells wonderful. I'm going to take a shower in a few minutes after I take my dogs out and freeze my butt off. My husband got called into work again early, so that kind of sucks. His vacation short, having going to work early, and he had to leave extra early because Ohio got a snowstorm. So we got a snowstorm. So I'm sitting here all snowed in all by myself. <laughs> no makeup. I even took a nap today. I was so exhausted. I'm still tired. I'm going to take a nice hot shower and use my new Bath and Body Works stuff from my daughter and put my new fuzzy slippers on and I'm going to get all comfy cozy and oh my gosh I can't believe it I almost forgot to show you this because this is what I'm going to do after I get all comfy cozy I'm going to play with my my big new toy that I got for Christmas look at this you guys you guys know I've been wanting this forever yeah I got me a sewing machine woohoo 
What do you think about that? Yep, I've got a DVD in right now, in my laptop right now that I'm going to watch that came with it because I know nothing, zero about sewing. I'm going to teach myself how to sew on that thing. I've been wanting that sewing machine for a long time. <laughs> so anyway, this is like over 10 minutes now, so I think I'm going to go edit it a little bit to cut it down, and I'll see you guys later.